What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back here again with another video. So, we're gonna check out how Dominic Mysterio became a star. It is without a question, without a shadow of a doubt, that Dominic Mysterio has come into his own character wise. He is, some would say, the biggest heel in WWE right now. He gets such a genuine reaction from the crowd and wherever wherever city they're at wherever state doesn't matter people legitimately boo this man out the building and it's great to see considering how he was when he was aligned with his father as a baby face and how he really didn't get much of the reactions it was really just right that people cared about to see his growth to see the feud with his father to have people legitimately want to see this guy get beat up to now being one of the top heels in the company one of the top chicken shit heels in the company it's fantastic and i love to see it and it'll be interesting to see where they go with him so we're gonna check this out by wrestling gifts if you haven't already go subscribe to him man uh link to the original video will be down below he makes some great wrestling related content we're gonna check this out should be a good one let's get right into this Imagine telling someone in 2005 that this kid right here in about 18 years is going to be one of the hottest heels in the business. That's Dominic insane. Mysterio, the kid we saw grow up on TV along with us over the past few years has had a transformation for the ages. Yeah. In about three years, he has gone from being a rookie in every sense of the word, reaching a point where he was basically a real life default created wrestler to now being a certified demon who the fans just love to hate. He uh -huh. has gone from fans hoping he gets demoted to NXT to yeah. now being a legit star it has been one of the funnest transformations we have seen in a long long time and it all began a year ago by the time summer of 2022 arrived dom had reached a point where he had been on the roster for two years and even though he had some fun moments and an amazing debut at the end of the day his whole gimmick since day one was hey i'm Rey mysterio's son yeah or is he which was fine <laughs> but a gimmick like that could only carry you for so long and two years into his career a lot of fans began to sour on him they said he had no personality that he had no charisma they said he was trash in the ring and that he was just there because of who his father was mm -hmm. and i'm not gonna lie i was definitely in that camp as well when somebody asked on Reddit oh wait a minute in hold on was definitely in let me train for six months and oh god i'll do better than dominic damn that camp as well when somebody <laughs> asked on reddit back in 2022 what am i missing about dominic mysterio one of the top replies was dominic is missing things not you and it got bad to the point where fans even began to question if turning on his father would even save him mm. but it all led to a clash at the castle where ray mysterio and edge defeated the judgment day in a tag match and after the match while well, ray edge and dom were celebrating this was good it time. finally happened Dom, after two years of being the goody two shoes, I'm just this happy to be so here, good. finally showed some swagger. He kicked Edge down low and clotheslined Ray so hard that Ray probably saw Eddie yeah. for a second. <laughs> and just like that, Dominic turned heel and became the biggest bitch on the roster. And it was the best and thing. And this was great. Once they did that, the booze he got and the booze he started to get was fantastic. And they, they, they had a slow burn with this because Ray wouldn't discipline his child he wouldn't touch his child for the longest time and dominic was just able to say what he want and get away with the disrespect and it was good because it started fueling the hate for dominic and that's what you wanted man that's what you want in a heel like this to be to the point where you want people to want to see nothing but bad things happen to him and oh man this is great Thing that could have ever happened to him. Dominic officially joined the Judgment Day and everything changed. Dom instantly became one of the most hated men on the roster. Yep. And it wasn't just because, oh, he became a bad guy and joined up with the emo high school kids. Nah, he was hated because he turned on his father and not just any father. No, Ray he Mysterio. turned on one of the most beloved wrestlers of all time and started talking all this shit. That was enough to make him despise. 
but that was just the beginning because while he did that, he also became the world's biggest simp for yep. Rhea Ripley. <laughs> Rhea Ripley became his mommy. Fifty Shades of Dom was in full effect and <laughs> nothing was ever the same again. Dom and Rhea every single week would do the slimiest, scummiest shit you could imagine. Still Stuff are. that would even make his real dad proud. This kid, who then became this kid, ended up becoming this. And now was slapping his dad on live TV, hitting his dad with his own finisher, begging his dad to fight him, and every week the crowd would just get louder and louder uh -huh. with their hate towards him. And just when you thought you had seen it all, like, okay, he slapped his dad, he's Rhea Simp, like, cool, what, what else are they gonna do? They kept going further and further, and they really made some magic. Because apparently slapping his dad and hitting him with a 619 wasn't enough, we got a legendary skit mm -hmm. on Thanksgiving, where Dom and Rhea pulled up to the Mysterio house uninvited. And they didn't watch a football game, they didn't eat some turkey, nah nah nah, Dominic Mysterio beat the shit out of his dad at his own house while Rhea Ripley helped him. Dom just casually walked in and next thing you know, Ray is on the floor getting his ass beat like the guy who tried robbing the 7-Eleven last week. This yep. was wild, this was unexpected. 17 years ago, Rey Mysterio was putting his life on the line to secure Dom's custody, and what does he get in return? He gets turned into a turkey on Thanksgiving. Yo, I never thought I would say this, but at least Edge was honorable and clapped Cena's dad, right? <laughs> Dom just took it to the next level. And it was things like this that just made Dom into the biggest heel on the mm -hmm. show. And what was great was he was still the same guy and is the same guy. It's not like Dom turned heel and magically got a personality or some charisma. No. And nah, they just turned everything about him into a positive. He still is the biggest dork, the biggest idiot, the biggest... Yeah, that, and that's what works. The only thing that changed was his alliance and the disrespect he started showing to uh, Ray. Everything else, like his in-ring ability was more or less the same. It has approved slightly, but his in-ring ability more or less the same. It's not like the guy was out here, you know, you know, carrying matches. He He's not the guy that wins the matches. It's usually whoever he's aligned himself with or with the assistance of Rhea. So it, it, it worked. Him not being the best in the ring, him not having the best character, but just being a, a prick worked because now you can every everything that people were criticizing before they can criticize with that added added um uh, attention to it to you know to his character being a heel now that it works it, it's it's a compliment that he's not that good in the ring but yet he somehow finds the way to win matches with other people's help it works it's goof but that's why it works and it just got even better the next month when Dom and Rhea tried to run it back. They tried going for the 2P like they're Jordan in 91 yep. and 92 and on Christmas Day showed up to the house again uninvited. But this time before anything could pop off, Dom's mom stepped up and Rhea Ripley got involved and before Christmas could turn into a tag team match free for all tornado ladder match, Dom caught a case and got arrested. Yep. <laughs> and it was time for the next evolution in Dom's character. He was already the world's biggest simp, he was already the biggest weasel, uh -huh. he was already beefing his dad but now it was time for ex con dom ex -con dominic dom. went from screaming for help and telling his mommy that he won't make it in prison to now being a prison hardened ex con who told the world that prison changes a man and just when you thought that this character couldn't get any better <laughs> that he couldn't become more annoying but funny at the same time he put up to raw a few weeks later yep. looking like he was straight out of blood in blood out yeah. vato's locals for life essay mixed in with some saints row and ex con dom was in the cut and it was a scary <laughs> sight dom had officially become the just seeing this will always be funny i'm like dom shut up and it works it worked. Annoying rich kid who thought he was a thug, who thought oh, he was a gangster, who thought he was, was about great. that life. And it was amazing. It was a parody of people we all know. We mm -hmm. all grew up with that one kid who lived in the suburbs, who lived a very privileged life, yep. but for some reason thought he was from the hood. I don't yep. know if those are fireworks or gunshots, head ass. <laughs> Dom just kept getting better and better at being that annoying heel, and oh, they used his lack of charisma and a strong personality as a tool to make him annoying. Next thing you know, he's pulling up to Raw with a teardrop Job, tattoo man. for some reason. Yo, my bad. Apparently, we have Wheezy F Baby in here. But nah, <laughs> Dom was doing his thing. At the Royal Rumble, he came out with Ray's mask and even did oh, Ray's entrance God, and then ripped so the mask good. apart. He comes out week after week calling Ray Mysterio. Ray Mysterio of all people, a deadbeat dad. Oh, like, yo, this I don't is think so he understood that if good. my dad had to do a ladder match for my custody, I, I don't think he's going to do it. 
But no, apparently Rey Mysterio was a horrible father. What do we know? And poor Rey even changed shows to SmackDown to yep. get away from him. And Dom followed him there just to clap him. Ever since Clash at the Castle, Rey never hit Dom no matter what Dom did. So Dominic just kept taking advantage of that. And let's be real. The WWE gets a lot oh, of things. Oh, man. He probably had to cut it. But the infamous SmackDown where he got into his mom's face. And Ray finally smacked him. Oh my God, one of the greatest pops. <laughs> it was such a great pop, bro. The crowd went insane. We went insane on stream. It was beautiful to see <laughs> Ray pop him in the face. It was fantastic. I love that. That was great. Very great pop. It's, it's, it's one of those type of pops, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, we, we love and respect Ray, but that, in my opinion, I think that's one of the greatest pops Ray Mysterio has ever received outside of him winning the Royal Rumble that year as well. But this is up there too, because the crowd had been waiting for it for so long and he finally popped him in the face. Crowd went crazy. It was great. It's wrong, but they were in their bag when it came to Dom. Ever since the Netty turned, everything has been perfect. From the way they made his character grow, to how they used his negatives to become positives, to how much effort they put in, filming all those skits, and just thinking outside the box, the reason Dom's transformation worked so well was this was a throwback to the Ruthless Aggression era. This was straight out of 2005 SmackDown, some telenovela type beat. And of course, of course, it cannot be understated how important Rhea Ripley has been For in this. For sure. They are truly a on-screen match made in heaven. Yeah. From Thanksgiving to prison to Valentine's Day dinners to even letting the storyline take place during Ray's own Hall of Fame induction. Yep. I remember being shocked when I found out that they actually ran the storyline during his Hall of Fame. Yeah, which is wild but they they had to keep the continuity because if ray would have if his son would have been out there you know happy and stuff it would have threw off everything and they had a match coming up uh for wrestlemania so they had to keep the continuity going and it was perfect obviously we know that dominic you know is happy about that you know his father being in the hall of fame as he should but they had to keep you know they had to i'm glad they kept the kayfabe for that particular situation alive that was awesome Name induction. Just when you thought they've done everything they could possibly do to get heat on this guy, they find some more scummy thing to do for him to get more heat. This was not only one of the best storylines they had done in years, but this was some of the best character development they've done in years. Mm -hmm. And what started back in September all led to a WrestleMania match, father versus son. Which was fantastic, bro. WrestleMania 39 in Los Angeles. When that siren hit and Dom made his entrance in front of 70,000 people, he looked like and came off as such a star. Him getting escorted to the ring like he was Goldberg or something, yeah. that was the moment where Dom <laughs> cemented his status. That was the moment where everything came full circle. This the same good. guy who just a year ago was seen as somebody who didn't really have a serious future, who was just there because of his dad. Maybe he'll be IC champion or something, who fans were hoping and begging for him to go to NXT. Fast forward to this moment, none of that mattered. And as this someone was who was fun. there at Mania, this was the match that I had the most fun watching. Yeah. This was the match that had everyone on their feet that woke the crowd yeah. up. This was special. I mean, how could it not be? We saw Dominic get spanked. <laughs> as months have gone by that was one of the greatest moments in WrestleMania history. Dominic getting spanked was chef's kiss. <laughs> that was so good. That's so good. Crowd went crazy. We went crazy on the live stream. Oh, man. By Dom is still one of the most hated heels in the business and is still mm -hmm. doing his thing. A few weeks ago, he became the first ever wrestler to main event Raw, NXT, and SmackDown in one week. So, yeah, he did go down to NXT and drew the best viewership in months and walked away champion. He even got a match with Cody Rhodes in London. That was mm -hmm. a super fun match and the perfect side quest for Cody Rhodes before he went on to fight Lesnar again. The sky is literally the limit for Dom. I can literally picture Dom being that scummy, sleazy, cheating world champion. That itself is a trip. Like, yo, this guy, this guy right here is now on track, is now on pace to be world champion material. And yo, let's be real, it's also a testament to how Judgment Day went from being a pretty dead faction, pretty yeah. whatever, to now they're basically must watch television every Monday. But yo, what a difference a year makes. He still might not be the best on the mic or the best in the ring, and he is definitely a case of nepotism. But yo, <laughs> despite that, seeing where he was a year ago and where he is now, we have seen an amazing transformation in front of our very eyes. 
From his own growth to even Rhea Ripley becoming a star to the effort put in by everyone involved, it has been nothing short of amazing and despite what you want to say about Dominic, you can't deny it. He's killing it. And at this point, who knows where he ends up. Yeah, man. Very interesting. Love the video. Um, the, I don't know. World champion. That would... I mean, it would create some nuclear heat. But the situation would have to be... So, it, 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 the, the, the situation would have to fall in line perfectly for that to even happen. But, I will say this, man. They got something. They got something and they continue to keep rolling with it as they should. He is, without a doubt, one of their biggest heels in the company. And people want to see him lose. People want to see him get beat up. It is it is always the joy to see Dominic get beat up. <laughs> it's, it's messed up to say, but seeing him get beat up is it's fantastic, man. Fantastic. So comment down below. Let me know. Do you guys think at some point with the current run he has right now if they're able to maintain it would you want to see dominic as a heel world champion like a chicken shit heel world champion would you be oh would you guys be okay with that or would or do you guys think he should just stay within the mid card not the world title scene let me know down below but i appreciate all the love and support you guys on the channel road to 150k and i'm still here on the speedy youtube person champion of the world appreciate y'all kicking me see y'all next one peace